Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and today we're going to swatch some new washi tape, washi stickers, and pet tape from the washi tape shop. I have a great collection here of washi tape assortments like stickers and PET tape. I called it pet tape. I don't really know which one is preferable, but that has to do with the tape being transparent and it's sort of plasticky. So I don't know a technical definition for it, but we're going to test all of them. First up, we're going to try the Spring Serenade Wide Washi Tape, which comes in washi or PET tape. It's actually this one right here. And the way this is set up is that you can cut it out, use as much of it as you want. This is not stickers. I think it will work great as stickers, but you can just cut out the amount that you want. So we're going to sample all of the illustrations. You just cut off the portion that you want and then you peel off the backing. And I will not go through that process painstakingly with you, but I just wanted to demonstrate how I'm going to be doing the others. So this is a little dragonfly, a butterfly with some flowers. This is obviously a tropical bird, but bird lover that I am, my expertise is in backyard birds of Southwest Virginia, not tropical birds. So I don't really know exactly what that is. I could look it up, but I won't. I bet somebody can comment and tell us. Washi tape is just a little bit transparent, or it's pretty transparent, but not completely. So you can trim around the illustration as closely as you want to. I'm doing a quick trim around it. And as you can see on this background, the white around the edge doesn't really show up very much. These make wonderful embellishments for your stationery, for your scrapbooks, for your planners, you name it. Got a little bumblebee or some kind of a bee right there. Look at that one. Love that one. See how the color kind of comes alive when you put it down on the backing. This pair of birds that look more like backyard birds to me. And you can see these are large. About two to two and a half inches across in some cases. I found a blue jay. So this is a bird that is native to where I live in Southwest Virginia, and it's also my husband's favorite type of bird. He's gonna love this one. I'll have to think of some way to add that to a little note or something that I give him. He's got some fancy plumage on his head. This is a butterfly on some white blossoms. A pretty pink flower. Looks a little bit like a hibiscus. And FYI, we have a long way to go before these patterns start to repeat. We're gonna go all the way to here. Now I suppose you could use a razor blade tool to cut out your sticker. I'll go ahead and try that and see. But what I've been doing is just cutting around it and then peeling off the backing. But let's go ahead and try it this way. I've got a ceramic blade. Don't really know how far to push or how much pressure to put on it. Sure did. We have a new technique now. Little razor blade tool, maybe an X-Acto knife. You'll just have to play with it to get the right amount of force to put on your blade. That's a pretty one. That has a butterfly and a bird. Just so you'll see, I'm going to use a much lighter touch with this and see if it still does the job. Barely pushed on that. That did do the job. I'm going to need a whole new sheet. Cute little yellow and soft green colored bird. This butterfly I think is our last butterfly. We're getting to the end of where the pattern starts to repeat. The dragonfly I did have at the very beginning so now we have officially gone full circle. Let's put this one down here. We've got a bee on top of a big flower and so this is all of the stickers once you cut them apart. And I imagine you could keep them all together on a, on a fat roll, but it doesn't really make a coherent scene. They're just a bunch of illustrations that you need to kind of take apart if you want to tell a story with them. I am most fond of the birds. I love the birds, especially the blue jay. Love that blue jay. My husband's going to like that too. Here are the rest of the birds. Okay, so this one costs $10.95 for that roll. If you want it in PET tape or pet tape, that's this like transparent and shiny and plasticky, it's 11.95. 
Cottage Charm is a set of three rolls. So you get some kitchen-y type things, you get some flowers, and you get some stickers here that are just of cottage scenes. And I think these are stickers. So let's check and see if they're already cut out. Yes, these are stickers. So this will be easy. I won't have to cut anything. The floral roll can be first. This reminds me of our hydrangea. We get both of these colors in our hydrangeas. And see, these are perfectly die cut around the edge of the stickers. Really quick and easy way to put more color onto a page, onto a letter, onto a note card, birthday card, on an envelope, in your planner, in your bullet journal. I use these stickers sometimes, maybe not the bigger ones, but I have washi tape stickers of like little sweet treats and things that my students love when they finish a piano piece and they get a sticker on it. They love to choose a sweet treat from the washi tape rolls that I have. I doubt that I will put this one in my piano studio just because this to me is more like for my planner or for my notebooks and journals, stuff like that. Also in my prairie -er, maybe. I don't usually decorate in my prairie -er, but that's like a prayer planner. Um, my Moxie Life Horizontal, which is where I write out my memory verse each day, and I have the same verse for an entire week. There's this little area on the right side of the horizontal each day where this would fit really, really well. In fact, it may be bigger than what I need and I could trim it right to the edge. Look at this gorgeous set of flowers. And I, I think it probably goes like this, but I don't want to bump into this one. There we go. We have not repeated any patterns yet. This is like a daisy. These are like lilac and lavender colors. This is a string of daisies and greenery. And with that, we have gotten back to the original one. So it was this long here, about 13 inches long, and then the stickers begin to repeat. And this is one of the three rolls in Cottage Charm. Okay, so these are more like food items, and let's see, until they repeat, it goes this far. So I think I can, it's about 13 inches again. There's an apple pie that looks just about like a photograph. Tea pot, tea kettle, very charming items you might find in the cottage and in the garden. This is a beet from the garden at the cottage jar. I forget what the name of that fabric is on the top. It's milk, it's a milk bottle. And this is a basket of goodies. There's a dishcloth in there and there are some little treats in the basket. Bread and a flower. So we'll just put it like that. A kettle with something in there. Here are all of those stickers, not this one. This was from the floral tape. That was the second roll of stickers. Let's go on to the third and I saved the best for last. Here it is. I love the colors in this. I love the old fashioned illustrations. Where my thumb is is where the patterns begin to repeat. So again, it'll be about 13 inches. All of the stickers in this set are die cut already. Love that. What do you call it when you make one of these little things? Not an archway. A little shovel, an onion. The ducks are taking a bath here. And I'm not being particularly careful to put these on straight because they're not going to stay here. A ladder displaying all of the different plants. A little boy with a lamb. A mama duck and her little ducklings and a chicken. Love these, aren't they great? If you like old-fashioned stuff, if you like Jane Austen novels, this is right up your alley. Another picnic scene. So we've got two picnic scenes. Bicycle. All right, so this was my favorite of those three rolls that are from the set called Cottage Charm. The set costs $23.95 and you get three rolls of stickers. So you get all of these and then of course the rolls repeat. So you get lots and lots of those. But the stickers repeat after this many. And then this is the floral set along with that one sticker. And this is kind of the food munchies set that comes with it. And we have these three for Tea Temptations and they're all different color palettes. 
This is more reds and strawberry looking. This is gonna be my favorite because it's pink and green. This one is more blues and whites. You get this much before the patterns begin to repeat. So this one is not complete. The roll came like that. So I'm going to start with this one and we will go through here. So again, it's about 13 inches, possibly 14 inches. If you wanted to host a tea party or a Galentine's gathering for you and your girlfriends, these might be nice on the invitations and place cards, food cards, identifying all of your little delicacies. You could even use these at Christmas time, I think, because, you know, of the red. Or to embellish your journaling. This is a picture with some beautiful red flowers and then a cupcake, a nice little bouquet of pink flowers, some cupcakes and fruit. I love this tea kettle, cupcake, and check napkin combination. Love the cake. Some flowers and a cherry and strawberries. And here's the last one. So these are all of the stickers in the red roll. Let's do the blue one next. You could really develop a beautiful page with like a border all around it of these different things and just arrange them in a way that makes sense to you. Love that one. Croissant or a dessert. It's not super old fashioned because there's a digital clock there. This is a scene from above looking down. So you've got a dish of pastries, a teacup, and some reading glasses. Watercolor. It's like somebody has been outside sketching a scene. Coffee or teacup there. You've got your newspapers and letters, your correspondence that you're checking on in the morning. And I have to go ahead and use another page. Tea and your reading glasses. With that, we have gone all the way. So we'll trim that off. And let me show you up close before we go any further. Here was that red and pink set with polka dots. That kind of ran over to this side. And then we started the Wedgwood blue and kind of sand color. And a few more over here. I saved my favorite for last because pink and green is my favorite color combination. Here we go, another 14 inches or so of stickers and then they start to repeat. Your cake. A stack of teacups with some pearls and flowers. Might be able to fit the cart here. stack of books, some flowers under a glass dome, and then we are back to the layer cake. So we'll trim that off and I'll show you up close. So this is from the blue set and these are from the pink and green set, all from the, what's it called? Tea Temptation set. Three rolls of washi stickers and that set costs $23. 95 cents and let's move on now to Romeo's Roses. It's one roll and you guys I think it's got to be 24 to 28 inches before the pattern repeats. These are not stickers this is a fat washi roll and it doesn't really make a coherent scene so this is one where you're going to want to cut them out most likely. Here are all of the illustrations some butterflies, birds, some greenery plants, roses, a beautiful tall vase full of roses, and then we have some scripts, and these I believe are all quotes from Romeo and Juliet, and there were one or two more that I didn't have room for there. A few quotes, so from here down, a few quotes and some raspberries, another little branch of greenery, and a little mushroom or toadstool. So that is all that you get on Romeo's Roses. And the next one up is going to be Serene. So this is our first example of PET or pet tape. You can see it's transparent, it's more shiny. This one looks iridescent to me. So they have the, yeah, I think this one is iridescent. They have PET tape that is not iridescent, but when I turn this, you can see a little bit of a holographic effect on this one. 
So I believe this is the iridescent one. This roll, the iridescent is $12.95. If you get the PET tape that is just transparent but does not have that sparkly effect to it, it's $10.95. And if you get the washi tape version of it, it is also $10.95, or you could get the set of all three for $31.95. So I'm going to say this is about 12, 24 to 28 inches to maybe 30 inches. And these are not cut out as stickers. So we are going to try the method with the ceramic blade. I don't know if it will work as well since it's not washi, but we're going to find out. I'm going to do one in front of you so you can see. I'm assuming I need to push a little bit harder. And I'm outlining just this first full bouquet, not the part where it's cut off on the edge. And since the outside of the illustrations is clear, you can overlap these and not get any of the design that might be underneath covered up. So this might work better with scissors. I'm probably going to use scissors. So I got that side cut pretty well. This side somewhat well, but it tears. So if you can tear carefully, you can go around the edge, I think. Oh, you know what it was? I had that doubled up. There was a piece of tape on there. That's why that didn't work. Okay, so that was not giving it a fair shot. We're gonna try it again. Look at that. Look at the iridescent aspect of that on the outline of the petals. Can you hear that sound? And the last one did not cut well on the left side because there was a piece of clear tape holding the roll shut and I did not have that removed completely. So that's why it didn't work. This one worked beautifully. Okay, so you can still use the ceramic blade or probably your exacto knife as well. You do have to be careful not to tear it. You can't really see, but I tore it as I was lifting it. So once you've cut it, be kind of careful on the edge when you start to lift it up. This would be beautiful on wedding invitations, wedding scrapbooks, wedding place cards, and I might actually use this in my wedding scrapbook that I'm redoing because we had blue and white flowers and this might look really good. Of course, you'd want to use it on a white background, and the scrapbook pages that I'm using currently are a black background, but it's one of those scrapbooks where you have top-loading page protectors, so I could easily swap out for white paper. By the way, this roll, if you're thinking um, wedding budget, I told you what they cost, right? This one is $12.95 because it's iridescent, but Seems like a lot of decoration for not much money. You know, if you had some plain white gift bags, you could decorate them, make them fancy with this. Maybe some white paper cups. I don't know if that would work. You'd have to test it out, but you know, because the, the sides are rounded, sometimes things don't stick on without bumping or making bumps. But definitely a white gift bag would be a great application for this tape. This one's huge. Maybe even a baby shower, tea parties, envelopes, stationery, if you have some plain white stationery. That's it. So here are all of those stickers. They're all pretty big. They measure between three and four inches wide or tall. That's it. This is the holographic version of Serene. Our next tape is a washi version, but it also comes in PET tape, pet tape. This is called Floral Chronicles, wide washi and it's just time pieces, birds and flowers, feathers, roses, really pretty. And these are all of the stickers that you can get from this single roll and you do cut them out yourself. And I did a very quick job with the ceramic blade. By the way, that's called a slice tool and the slice tools now I don't think look like this. I may have the slice tool linked in the video description, but that is a very old tool. So these are all of them. The color scheme is definitely charcoal, silver. 
Deep Teal and Rose Floral Chronicles. And now we come to the last set, which is called Kitten's Play. There are four rolls in this set, so what I'm going to do is just place them all. They're already cut out, so they're stickers. I'll show you an example of the first one coming off, and then I'll just show you all of them. So they come off already cut like this. And I know my students are going to love these, especially, of course, the cat-loving students. Some of the kids would consider themselves to be dog people, and the others would be cat people. There are books in here also, so if you like cats and books, this is for you. Here is all of the first roll. I did repeat one sticker, not realizing I'd done that. So everything except for this is what you get in one repetition or cycle of these illustrations. I love that there are also some teeny tiny washi stickers that are laced throughout and you can use those in your planner on little event labels, like to just embellish a plain event label and then write what you're going to be doing in your planner. These are really cute, but I know my students are going to absolutely take these from me. Let's do the second set. Here is the second roll. So do you recognize any of these kitties as looking like your own? Look at the paw prints everywhere. This one's more colorful, I think. This was more pink and yellow. This is brings in some green and red. Let's do the next one. And by the way, the fourth one I'm saving for last because it's my favorite. And here's what you get. So more blues brought into this one, paw prints and stacks of books. Look at the look on some of these kitties' faces. I think this one's my favorite. Super cute, but Speaking of favorites, this is my favorite roll. It's green and purple. Here we go. I just love these colors. I think this one's my favorite one. And I think all four of these rolls will be favorites in my piano studio. But in fairness, I'm probably going to need to track down some puppy play stickers to go with these because my dog people students are going to want those once they see these. Which set is your favorite? The purple and green, the blue, orange, and red, the green, red, and yellow, the pink, yellow, and red set. These are $23.95 for four rolls, and of course you can get 10% off with my code. But let's go ahead and look through everything that we have reviewed because we're finished now. Kittens Play, one, two, three, and four. Floral Chronicles right here. It's all on one roll. This is Serene, and I have the iridescent pet tape. That is also serene. Spring serenade spread out. I cut these out. Lots of birds in spring serenade. That's why I love this one. More spring serenade. Cottage charm. This comes with three rolls. This is like the fruits and snacks roll. This is the floral roll. And this was my favorite, the cottagey roll. So all three of those are in cottage charm for $23.95. Then we go over to Tea Temptations. There are three rolls in three different color schemes. So there's the red and pink polka dots and white. There is the Wedgwood Blue set and sand that carries over here. And then there's the pink and green roll, which is this part and the top part. Then we go on to Romeo's Roses, which has quotes, roses and flowers, some birds and butterflies. This is all on a single roll where you cut out your own stickers. And then these are quotes, and I think they're from Romeo and Juliet. That's everything that we have looked at today. And I want to thank the Washi Tape Shop for sending me so many rolls of washi and pet tape, or PET. You'll have to tell me which one is right, as well as the stickers. So many ways that you can use them, not just in planning, but in bullet journaling, stationery, teaching, note cards, party invitations, party decorations, you name it. Be sure to check the links down in my video description, as well as the discount code plan. And Sarah Plan 10 if you want to shop and get any of these and let me know in the comments what you like the most. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.